hold up real quick. We want to bring you something from our boys over at Canon. If you're anything like me and you use your truck to do work stuff with, and it ain't just some mall crawler parking lot queen, then you need a KNN Performance Intake Air System. Couple of reasons, increase in horsepower and performance, increase in torque, also 100,000 mile intervals between cleaning. That means you can go across the country, I don't know how many times, a lot of times without cleaning your air filter. They also make performance air intake systems for a ton of models out there. Head over to knfilters.com, type in your truck, figure out what they got for you. Welcome back to this verse that. Woo! Yeah! Brought to you by our friends at KNN. We got a mother Dan. <laughs> we got a mother <laughs> Dan. Today's race, controversy. I'm mildly upset about one of them. I'm not at all, I think it's great. One's a full on race car, one's a full on street car. Both of them caused a stir when they came out. Let's go check them out. Okay. What's up, sir? How we doing? I'm doing well. How are you? What's your excellent, name? Excellent. I'm Dylan Hughes. We know who Dylan is. Come on. We're hey, just Dylan, we do the formalities. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing NASCAR Dylan Hughes, though. Dude, I know, this right? This is a look. I know. I know. This is the whole, it's a whole thing. I just see dirt bike Dylan everywhere. That's all I picture you as now. That's all I think about. <laughs> it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of identities, but today we're NASCAR Dylan. This is a real NASCAR. This is a real NASCAR, yeah. So this is a 2010 cup car chassis. This one's made for turning both ways, not just left. Oh, uh, what? So this one's pretty well balanced. We took this thing to the drag strip for the very first time, probably two years ago. And uh, my old pal, Ryan Turk, turked it. He scattered the V8 all over the racetrack. And uh, as a joke, we basically were like, let's put a 2J in it. And uh, we did. Can we pop this hood? Yeah, we just kind of take a look yeah, at yeah. that. <laughs> It's got hinges. It's got Dude, hinges. What? Yeah, check this out. That's for when you forget to put the pins in and you, you know you can make sure that it slams back. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it does proper damage. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, kind of kind of shiny, kind of pretty, kind of stuff back in there. So this is a stock crank, 10 to one compression, still a three liter. The Garrett's a GTX 4088, hyper tune inlet manifold, some Brian Crower nice looking bits on it. We put a launch control button on it yesterday and tested it in the street in front of the shop. So hopefully it works. Right about probably 750 to 850 horsepower range. And uh, the car weighs about 2,900 pounds without me in it. It's a NASCAR uh, NASCAR sideshift four-speed dog box with a solid rear axle. Dude, look at like the suspension setup and look how just simple. Is that hilarious? Yeah. <laughs> there's I rope. love my favorite. Yeah, my there's favorite. A, yeah, there's, there's a piece of rope. There's, there's rope. rope. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's note that real quick. There's a rope. Oh man. So I figure in case you get in the wall doing the whole NASCAR thing, you yeah. don't want tires flying off in the crowd. <laughs> So I think that's what the rope is for. The angle of that upper control arm is a little spooky to me, but you know, I didn't do anything to it, so it's all good. There's so much to look at here. It's so funny how simple it is, right? Yeah. Like if you were like, let's change our camber, you like take this ball joint out and you can basically put a different slug in it to change basically where that upper control arm picks up. So you can lean the tires in, out, whatever you want. It's kind of like caveman stuff. Like there's nothing really to it. Not cool. I, they got a really sick fab cup holder in here though. That's, uh, <laughs> Whoa, really? Tits, and I don't think that that's uh, NASCAR spec. Yeah, well, you know, it's one of those deals. Yeah, check that out, the old, the old Joe's Racing Box. And then of course, since we took the V8 out of it, we just figured it would be cool to leave all whatever that stuff is in there. So that doesn't do anything. And this is on a Link ECU, but we just left that stuff because it looks cool. This is one of the old spec ones where you could like, you know, put like a cheater chip in. I think you, you can know. definitely change the chip in that thing. There, a chip goes in there somewhere. I know nothing about it, but I don't know. Get the cheater chip. Put Get the hot chip. chip in there. Yeah, this so we is... still we still got uh, like the dry sump tank, like all the fabrication was still in there. I think it still has dry sump lines in it. I just capped them on both ends, but I think I took the dry sump tank out because this is a wet sump engine, the Jay-Z is, and then the NASCAR motor was a dry sump. But it has like a massive fuel cell on the back. It's like 200 gallons. Not Damn. actually, it's probably like 30 or something, but it's massive. How much is in it right now? Good question. <laughs> we'll in comparison out. to what you do, on a, on a typical basis, like drifting, right? Like how big of a fuel cell do you guys run? Mine's a 10. My car is out of tires before it's even close to out of fuel. So we just do tires and fuel every two laps in a competition drift car. This one, they go for, I don't know, a whole bunch of times. Can we take a look in the back? Yeah, yeah, of course. Sick bumper hit. Man, kind of rad seeing radium stuff in Yeah, NASCAR. right? So of course, taking taking some drift parts over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we noticed that this was the same bolt pattern as the radium FCST drop-in. Wow. So it's wow. got tri triple Sick. pumps. It's got the single low pressure, high volume lift into the two high pressure, low volume that sent it up to the 2JZ. So this Whoa. one is on uh, 110 fuel. What was zip tied in there? It's a carbon fiber little tank that was in there that was a, basically a dry sump vent. Okay. And then mm. obviously the zip ties never made it all the way out. I was gonna say, it's like, Right about the size of a nitrous bottle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty yeah. close. Zip ties in the nitrous Which, bottle. Pretty close. Honestly, yeah. I wouldn't be mad at I wouldn't be mad at it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you got the Dragway Special Goodyear is Dragway on here. Dragway Special Goodyear. Did you get those on purpose? Yeah, so the last time we took it to the drag strip, it was a prep track. Okay. Uh, and we had never felt basically, you know, 800 wheel horsepower launches before because our drift cars always just spin the tires, right? Yeah, yeah. So 
We decided to get some decent tires in the back of it. So these are 28 by 10 drag slicks. I think the wheels are 15. And these are the regular NASCAR Hoosiers up front. So as far as gearing goes, is this like a NASCAR track type of gearing or is it a little shorter? It's geared a little bit shorter because okay. uh, we did take it down, down the quarter at Irwindale one time. And uh, I think it's got a 410 in it, which runs out of wheel speed mathematically at like 140 miles an hour. Okay. So okay. to go and drive this car as like a road race car at Willow Springs, it was definitely way too short. Mm. Like you could be bearing the limiter and forth pretty much everywhere. Wow. So. so that's good for today though. It'll be, it'll be decent for today. Yeah. yeah. So where are you trapping that 140 at? Like as far as distance, were you like, were you on the limiter going through the trap or? Well, they did an eighth mile at Irwindale and it, I think I just ran it out at the end of third and I think it was like 118, something like that. Okay. That's quick. So that's, we'll, it be, was cooking, we'll be good yeah. for the thousand. That's good, right? yeah. I think so. I, I don't think it could make it, although it'd just be bearing the limiter probably. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy over here. He's not even looking at the car. He's not even sizing up the competition. <laughs> He's in the phone zone, dude. He's in the phone zone. <laughs> Let's go check out the other competitor. <laughs> Snacks. Yo, what? Oh, man. Well, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Did you just Hello, drive sir. this Hello, up? Sir. Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? Soupy from here. I give it to you. You got me there. What are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about what you brought here. What, what is this? What year is it? 2020. Right? 2021 Corvette. Is it 20? Y'all are shitting me, right? <laughs> no, dude, I no. actually didn't know. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. I know we got a 2020 Corvette 20? C8 Stingray Z51. I don't know. It may be a 21. Who knows? What? year is it? We got it in We got a Corvette, right? Soupy yeah. drove this thing up last, <laughs> last night. <laughs> Let, let's snack back. Quick bit. little snack breakdown. You got Look, the blue hot. diamond bold wasabi and Act soy sauce. Actually, I guarantee this was not like cleaned after I took it to Monterey, so I bet there's still beef jerky No, in the door. I took that beef jerky out because oh. I was like, I, if I leave it in the door, I might accidentally eat it. Why not? It's it doesn't good. go bad. I didn't know when it was in there. You gotta jerk this beef, man. When does beef jerky go bad? I Never. don't know. So this, I is, this is the ultimate road road trip car. <laughs> it just works really well. It it's does. a little tight. It would be great if we could solve the problem with the rear tr Wait, it's open. Yeah, we oh, you did. got it. We did. did that already. You got it. We got it. Oh, sweet Jesus. I couldn't figure out how to open this. It's on the remote, <laughs> man. Well, it wasn't working when I was using it. Anyway. Oh my God. Scratch all that. Look at this. Look at this chunk space for golf clubs and shit. My favorite thing so far, the Hoonigan Unlimited Rev Limiters license plate frame, yeah. which looks a little bowed out. That's not <laughs> it, how it comes. Oh, slightly um, melted. We we may have had a, an engine failure at some point. I'm not gonna say whose fault it was, but there were fireballs coming out of the exhaust in the back at Button Willow Raceway. This thing runs 157s, flat. Is that good? Uh, you know. Looks sick. So this is engine number two. This is engine number two. It's a V8. Yeah. How big is it? I'm a size queen. 6.2 liters. We're here to ask you the question. I don't know any. You drove this here. Somebody You're gave me keys last night and said, drive this up. Here's the deal comes from the factory with the 6.2 liter direct port injection LT2. It's also mid-mounted. Yeah, it's in the ass of the car. Well, actually not even the ass. It's somewhere in the middle. Wow. It's deep. <laughs> wow. It's, it's deep. <laughs> they put this motor Our, deep up in the car. Oh. And what, right up inside the <gasps> It first came out, people weren't ready for a mid-engine Corvette. Mm. A lot of people were mad about that. They've but been trying honestly, to do this for 50 years. They have been. It launches super hard. It's really good on track. It handles awesome. It's super comfortable on the road. It looks pretty I, cool. I and can, it actually dynoed the power that it was supposed to make at the crank from the factory. It put down on the dyno. On, yeah, the that was pretty sick. And shout out to Mobile One, who we worked on this car with as a project. They gave us this thing to torture test. And we did torture yeah, yeah. test it. We took it out to Button Willow. This versus that. <laughs> Then we got KW V3s, one of the very first kits ever made, which lowered it a lot. Of course, if you're gonna slam it down, you gotta get it on some clean, well, not clean, but very clean looking gold <laughs> jacket. That is the one change. The last time you saw this car, it was on a different Cray wheel. Today, it's on the Cray Pantheras. We got 245s up front. We got 305s in the back, and that's about it. It's just as it comes out the box. Do you know how to launch control this no, thing? No, I got oh in this thing last God. night, literally yeah. at seven o'clock. You, you step on the brake, you step is there on the gas, control? and you just yeah, there's a take control. your foot off the brake. Who am I racing? Did you not listen to anything we talked about I that was, car? I, I was uh, checking emails. <laughs> I'm psyched. Let's go. Last time we used our transport driver as a race car driver. <laughs>
Man, Supi's getting destroyed. Unless that car breaks. Even if the C8's faster, I got my money on Dylan. He's a pro. I'm always gonna go with the 2JZ with a professional race car driver. So, I'm gonna go with Dylan. <laughs> Don't look at me, just tell him. <laughs> Supi's gonna get his ass handed to him. <laughs> He's gonna win. Respectfully. Are you serious? You're gonna ask me for predictions? Me? The guy who's driving this really nice Corvette against a race car with a 2J? I'm gonna say a race car with 2J. Pride, fuck you, Soupy. <laughs> Look at the marks. C8 got him by three and a half. Damn. Technology. Dylan's watched the I show. I mean, Soupy, Soupy had a good launch too. I gotta hand it to him. I mean, the to. car had a good launch. What happened there? So it obviously spun off yep. the line in first, so I think next time I'm gonna hold the two-step on a little longer to kind of limit the power to the tires. Okay. And then I felt like it was spinning so hard, I short shifted it and then it loaded up. So gotcha. then when I was waiting for the boost to come back on, he was kind of pulling me and as soon as it got back into boost, I hit third and then I was running him down pretty close. Pull back. You feel like if you got the hit, or a car, or anything? Is there anything you want to negotiate? I feel like he'd be damn close at the end if he gave me a car. Okay. Let's check that with Soup. Sounds good. Yeah. Let's see what he thinks. Soup, who cares what Soup is? <laughs> Soup still got, still got the Yeti in the in the cup holder. I think I just outdrove him. You know what I, mean? like, I was going to say, it's not bad for him. You pushed the pedal. I got to say, I haven't seen swag on you in a while. Oh. I'm kind of upset I lost my beef jerky, though. <laughs> Dylan's still figuring this car out. He's asking for a car length. Let's do it. You want to give him a car length? Let's do it. Okay. Okay. That was easy. Did Soupy jump though? A little bit. Who knows? A little jump? He just wants to come back and take all the credit that Chevy put in that he car. He really does. Like, I'm amazing. He really does. I really want to see a roll race. Dylan dumps on him in a roll. I just want to see Soupy oh, get Oh, you just want to see Soupy lose? Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dirtbag. Dude, this thing just spins. It sounds so good. Dude, it was so close at the end. Like yeah. as soon as he took off, I held the two-step like super long. Just like I uh, just like I kind of thought that we should. It was good, but I was like, even in second, it started to spin a little bit, which is super surprising. Should we roll it? Yes, yes. absolutely. I'm down. Like yeah. let's roll it. So yeah. technically Soupy won. Right. As much as we don't want to admit that. <laughs> but we want to see a bonus round. We want to see a roll race. So if you guys start and you could pace him, because you don't have a speedometer, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. The second you guys hit the cones, gun it. Okay. I'm okay. down. Bonus round.
he let out. <laughs> He let out of the throttle yeah. in third. Yeah. Four cars. Four Damn. Cars. Once he hit that pole in second, he was like, yep, yeah, I won. <laughs>let him win. I didn't want him to lose all yeah. his sponsors and stuff, you know what I mean? You're such a team player. I do. Dude. I'm looking out for the dude. Such... It hit some sort of boost cut, like, probably at the 500, and yeah. I was just to the floor, and it felt like it was at, like, 20% throttle, and I was like, kept waiting for him to pass me, and he just never did. Oh, yes. So, seeing as how this uh, doesn't like traction, does it do burnouts? Maybe. Does it do donies? Yes. Can you, you rip some It cheese? has no power steering, but I don't give a shit. I'll do it right now. Let's go. Hell yes. We're done! Get going! <laughs>